Hey everyone, it's Taylor, also known as Smitten Knitten, and welcome to day seven of Vlogmas. So, I have been in not a very vloggy mood when I got home. I think it's mostly because I know that I have to pack and do a lot of stuff tonight because I leave tomorrow morning bright and early to go to New York City um, for a wedding this weekend. So, I have to do some laundry, I have to pack. Um, and I have to film some reels. So anyway, before I get too busy with everything, I want to show you my progress that I've made on my anthropology throw. I completed Jesse today and I attached Mr. Potato Head. I basically did all of Jesse today. Um, and then I'm going to do Mr. Potato Head and then I'm going to do... I'm going to hopefully attach tonight's color. I'm wondering if I should do the guessing game with the yarns tonight, like throughout, like up till Sunday, or I guess just for Friday and Saturday tonight, so I can put them in the vlogs and not have to like bring all the packaging and everything. Just do them tonight and then put them in the vlogs later. That could be a good idea. So anyway, um, I'm going to wait to do the advent until Dom gets home. He's at work. He should be getting home around 7.30, hopefully, if all goes well, um, or all goes according to plan. But yeah, my friend Maddie, who is going with me to New York tomorrow, will be here sometime this evening. Um, and yeah, it's going to be fun. So let's get to laundry and packing. Hey MTV, welcome to my closet. My dilemma, my dilemma, my dilemma when it comes to packing is that I still haven't unpacked from my last trip I took last month um, when I went to Arizona to visit my sister. The good thing is none of the clothes that I wore in Arizona, I will be, none of it I'll wear to New York, you know, because December in New York versus November in Arizona. Very different, very different weather there. So let me like actually unpack all of this and put everything in the wash. So I'm gonna go do some laundry and then see where the evening takes us in terms of packing. thing for me to pack first would be my knitting because I'm doing laundry right now so obviously I think some of those I'm going to want to pack I know there's a pair of pants that I'm definitely going to want to pack um, that's in the laundry right now so let's go over what I'm packing of course I'm going to be bringing um, these sweatpants that I'm working on um, these are the hush pants by pickle knits it's a Christmas gift for my brother. I just need to finish the leg. I actually have to put this inside of this. Actually, I'm gonna do that. Let's do that now, why don't we? I think that in the future, if I make these again, I'm going to make the eye cord first and put it in here before I fold the hem because that was like annoying, <laughs> actually. So there's just a little tip for you if you're gonna do the hush pants or if you're gonna do any sort of like double folded thing. Just put it in beforehand, honestly. I'm gonna bring this on my trip. Putting this in this big bag here. The next thing I'm bringing is of course my anthropology throw. Um, and I'm going to be keeping this in what's in here yarn i'm going to be keeping this in my advent bag Ooh, the yarn so i'm going to be keeping this in there do you see she's climbing in do you see her of 
course she stops as soon as I stop start filming her say hello hi anthropology throw my advent project in here and then I want to bring one more just in case I'm going to wind this up this is um, punk rock unicorn yarn in their sole base um, in the color moss I think I'll make a pair of socks with this. It's a good green. It's good for the holiday season. So I think I'll wind this up. And yeah, that's all of the stuff I'm going to bring with me. Of course, I'm gonna bring this. I have all my knitting supplies in here. I bring this with me everywhere I go. This is my Knit Picks uh, anniversary needle set. I love this thing. The question is, do I pick out a contrast color to use with this or do I just do it all in a green? I could, I do have a red yarn that I've been wanting to use that I could use for contrast. It's like a red tweed yarn. I'm not sure to work out because it's tweed and this is not tweed. This is um, by Tea Time Fibers. It's on their Irish breakfast base in the col color O O A K. So, I don't know. Tell me what you think. Do you think that this would be a good contrast for this and vice versa or not? Mm, I don't think so, which is unfortunate. I don't know. Maybe I'll cake up both of these and just see what I feel like. Maybe I could do a nice pattern with this. Maybe like if I can find a lace pattern that looks like Christmas trees or something, that would be nice for this, right? And then this could just be a plain sock because it's already a uh, um, tweed. So it already has a bunch of intrigue for it. So I don't think this needs a pattern or anything. I've decided I'll bring both of them. <laughs> Pull my arm, why don't ya? <laughs> Santa, I've been good this year. Make your list and check it twice I'll leave you a note right here Underneath the Christmas lights Carols and bells, none of them help I still feel blue I just wanna fall in love this Christmas Now I am going to New York City for a wedding So I have two outfits two things that I have to wear because tomorrow is a tea party for the bridal shower and then Saturday morning is the wedding. So for the bridal shower, I'm wearing this adorable little cocktail dress. I'm also wearing this to the um, rehearsal dinner because we're going to go basically right from the bridal shower to the rehearsal dinner. I'm going to wear these um, like thick lined tights with this and these beautiful stilettos. Beautiful, a cute outfit. Can't wait for you guys to see it for the wedding. It looks a lot better on than it does on the hanger, obviously, because it's all shriveled up and whatever, but like, it is sparkly, festive. It is like such a good dress for a Christmas wedding, in my opinion. Um, so I'm very excited to wear this. Now these materials, because I just, I got them at Macy's and JCPenney. This is from Macy's. The other one's from JCPenney. They were not that expensive. Um, and they're made out of materials that I don't think are going to wrinkle. So I am not worried about putting them in my suitcase. I am going to bring the hangers. Wait, hotel rooms have hangers, don't they? Right? Do I risk it? Do I risk it? I don't know. But anyway, I'm wearing this dress, also with these shoes. Let me tell you, 
Still I'm just gonna wait for Maddie to get here and I'm going to use her garment bag because now I am getting paranoid about wrinkles. Anyway, aren't they so festive? I love them. Can't actually pack that, but I can pack my tights. These are nice, they're so thick. They're like, they're good tights. I think shoe wise, I kind of want to bring, my grandma got me these flip flops and they're supposed to be really comfortable. So maybe I'll bring these and bring them to the wedding in case I get, what? Oh, she wants attention. So maybe I'll bring these to the wedding just in case um, my feet get really sore and I need to take my shoes off. That's a good, what? What is it? Okay, I think I'm gonna wear some sneakers. These, I guess these white vans. I'll wear these white vans tomorrow and I don't think I'll need any other shoe besides my heels because it's a tr short trip. But now what will I wear? Definitely those jeans that I just threw in the wash downstairs. And then it's gonna be cold, so obviously I'm gonna wear sweaters. Please excuse the fact that it's not perfectly folded. I'm a human. Since it's gonna be cold, I'm gonna want a turtleneck, so I'll pack the classic by Espache, Espache Trico. Obviously I need jammies, tie-dye pants from Sensations in Ocean City, Maryland. I have a Taylor Swift Death by a Thousand Cuts t-shirt. Those are my jammies. I'm gonna take my Ingrid sweater by Petite Knit. Red beanie. This is very old. I got this in like high school. It's store bought. I think I got it at Payless and I don't even think Payless exists anymore. So this is a, an artifact. I'm bringing this beautiful wool coat. It's a guest coat. It makes me feel so fancy when I wear it. This scarf I can wear with my Ingrid sweater. Um, I can't remember what it's called but it's a pattern by um, Cat Weaver. I think she changed her name. She used to be Heather and Hops, but I think she just goes by Cat Weaver now. It's kind of short, so I like to like wear it as, like I tie it underneath and wear it more as a cowl or like an infinity scarf type of vibe. Oh, Olive, what am I supposed to pack, baby? What am I supposed to pack? So I think now I'm just gonna take a little bit of a breather. Um, I'm going to call my friend Kim and maybe she can help me pack and pick out what to pack. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't need a fancy watch You can give the elves a break No, you can't make it in the shop And you can't put it on your sleigh me so well that nobody else can do what you do okay so today what i learned in boarding school is hey guys we're going to open vlogmas today um just so you know we're actually gonna pre-record the next two days of vlogmas because i'm not vlogmas but of as i'm gonna be gone <laughs> and i don't want to like do this whole thing while i'm in the chapel I was going to say, New York City. you could take them with you. Well, I'm going to take them with me to work on them, but I don't want to like, I'm just going to do them now. So today is day seven, which is Mr. Prickle Pants. The you know who that I is, right? I don't know very well. But you know what? He's a hedgehog mm -hmm. with like green lederhosen. Lederhosen. Yeah. Wait, where's your phone? Let's I looked him up earlier, I saw what he looked like. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. It was kind of like cheating, it felt like. Well, how was that cheating? It's a character. Yeah, You're I know. supposed to know what the character yeah, looks like. Yeah, you're right. So my guesses are, is I think it's going to be like a tannish base with some like brown and green flecks in it. And maybe a little bit of red. Okay. I'm going dark brown. Dark brown? Just dark brown. Do you... So you think it's going to be a tonal? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's been a while. It's been two days. Okay. Mm -hmm. Locking it in. I was so wrong. 
So it's yellow. I said kind of like beige. So that's kind of like the same thing. It's not tan. You said tan. I said like beige. You said hints of blue though. Or green. I said green. Yeah, there's green. There's yeah. white, yellow. There's like the tiniest little flecks of red because he has like a little red um, <laughs> feather in his hat. That's a pretty one. I like that a lot. It's definitely different for sure. Yeah, and it definitely looks like Mr. Prickle Pants, I think. Mr. Prickle Pants is articles of clothing. Yes. If it was just his prickles and his body, it would be brown. It was a later hosen. It's like, um, like overall shorts. <laughs> oh yeah, the, Ger it's the German <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, our friend Cat, she wore like traditional German like clothing, and her date wore lederhosen's to their prom because she was born in Germany and has dual citizenship. To prom? Yeah, to prom. I don't remember that. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was after we graduated. Yeah. Oh, but she had strict. to like get approval. To wear it because she was like it's my culture because they were just like you can't wear this to prom as a formal event she was like it's formal in germany <laughs> i just wanna fall in love this christmas And paper, your ribbon and ball. I don't need that extra stuff. Oh, I just want to fall in love. It has been quite the busy afternoon and evening. It is currently midnight. I just finished filming a reel I had to do. I had to do so much stuff today. So I'm packed. My laundry is done. We're all good and I have to wake up in like five and a half hours to get ready to go to New York. So I'm gonna hop in the shower and go to bed. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Santa, I've been good this year. Make your list and check it twice.